Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's talk about the precessional motion of the Earth. We all think that the North Star is the North Star, Polaris, always in the North, but it is not always in the North. The reason is that the Earth actually precesses like a top, and let me explain how that works. So the Earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours, and of course, I need a little oil on that one, but because of that rotational motion and the gravitational pull of the sun and the gravitational pull of the moon, the earth tends to wobble. That's a very, very slow wobble. And most of us that played as a kid with a top before, whenever you make something spin really fast, it tends to rotate like that. As it's spinning really fast, it tends to slowly rotate like that, which is a precessional motion. And the earth is just like a spinning top. It does exactly the same thing. So even though today, as we look in the northern direction, towards the north celestial pole, we'll see Polaris, the north star. And if you're lost in the woods or in the forest or in the desert, and it's clear at night, you can actually find your way, find where north is by finding the Polaris, by finding the north star. But in the future, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 years from now, that will no longer be the case. So what I've drawn, what, what I've drawn up here is the result of where the, whoop, the north pole of the Earth will point to over time. Currently, about 2000 AD, Polaris is right where the North Celestial Pole is for us. So that means that the North Pole right now is pointing directly towards Polaris, the North Star. Eh, almost. It's very, very close. But as time goes by, you'll see that the, the Earth's North Pole will slowly point in a different direction. And more than 8000 AD, so let's see here, this is about, um, yeah, about 8000 Years from now, when, when it's about 10,000 AD, we'll be pointing directly at Denup. That'll be about 2,000 years later than this location right there. And then, if you can see here, in about maybe 12,000 years or so, the Earth's pole, the Earth's North Pole, will actually be pointing towards Vega. So Vega will be the North Star for the people that live on the Earth 12,000 years from now. Eventually, it will come all the way back around, and Polaris will be back at the North Celestial Pole. So what happens is, so right now you can think about the Earth being pointing directly to Polaris, but over time it will precess and come back to Polaris and it will just keep doing that over and over. Question is, how long does it take to make one precessional motion like that, one rotation? It takes 26,000 years. So every 26,000 years, the Earth will make one complete rotation as it precesses around like that. So, of course, the Earth will then rotate on its axis many, many, many thousands of times in the very same period. How many times? 26,000 times 365 days in a year. That's a, lot of rotation. That's a lot of rotations on the Earth's axis. And during that time, it will process one single time. It turns out that actually will have a lot of effect on the climate. And in some later videos, I will show you why that is a very important motion and why there's so much dependent upon that precessional motion. Not just the fact that Today, Polaris is the North Star, and about 13,000 years from now, it will be Vega, and about 10,000 years from now, it will be Denup, and given enough time, Polaris will become our North Star again. That's not the only thing. There's a lot more writing on the fact that the Earth has that precessional motion, and you'll see in just a few minutes, or I should say, in a few videos, <laughs> what that looks like.